know your relief valve it's extremely hot steam coming out of here so when you install the machine make sure you drill a three-quarter inch hole or 19 millimeter hole in the bottom floor of your user to send this through for safety that way if the operator accidentally opens this yellow valve you will not have this hose flinging around and burning people so you want to have make sure there's a hole of 19 millimeter which is equ equivalent to three-quarter send this through the floor and secure it all right that's for safety To start the machine we have to have water first make sure that your pump out valve is in a closed position which is a vertical position make sure your self washing system for your tank is off this is off position that's on off come to the front make sure this yellow handle valve is completely shut Another thing is, set your thermostat to a desired setting from 70 degrees centigrade. I mean, uh, 70 degree Fahrenheit, all the way up to 250, whatever you like. Let's set the thermostat first. In order to get the, the 12 DC pump, which is here, going, we have a new system now. There's your 12, uh, 12 DC pump. But we have an override switch that allows it to only run if there is water available in the tank. So in order to start it, let's go that way please. Turn the sub tank pump on. Then hold on to this switch. Pump's gonna start running and it's gonna start pressurizing and stop working. That means the system is ready to go. Listen to the sound. System is ready to go. So if I turn the key on, I have green light, which tells me water. And I'm ready to go. In order to start, again, move your choke in open position, throttle all the way minimum. From this position, go ahead and start by moving the choke to the close position. As you're cranking, either bring it to the center or all the way open. Allow the unit to run for about a couple of minutes to kind of warm up. She's warming up. Once there are a couple of minutes of running is slow, is done then you can increase the rpm to a desired setting do not run this machine anywhere below uh 2800 if you're doing carpet cleaning tile and grout and water extraction and not more than 3000 furniture cleaning you do 2200 now we're going to increase the rpm by having your four fingers here Grab this one, a slow increase.
valve right here to remain closed when it's operating at shutdown. You open it to spray WD-40 in here to lubricate the blower.